Hello everyone. I'm a new person now, clearly, as you can see by the new background. And um, also, this here cup. Today, for the very first time, I made my own cup of French press coffee. Ah, yes, yes, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, it's usually a thing that my husband does for me, and um, I realized I can make my own coffee. So I did, and I feel very powerful. Anyway, the reason you clicked on this video is because you want to know about what I think, and I'm grateful for that. And so today, in honor of you guys wanting to know more about what I think, I'm going to answer a very commonly asked question. I recently set up an email address for you guys to send me your questions. It's askfranny at gmail.com. Hi, I'm Franny, in case you didn't know. And you guys, came through and you sent me some questions and so I'm going to just roll with things chronologically and answer the first question that I was asked and go from there. First question, here we go. Hi Franny. Hey. I just saw your Tessa Thompson video looking for viewer questions. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'll leave it linked for you. Have you thought about typing your viewers? That is the question that I'm tackling today. I'm sure many of us would appreciate a second opinion. And she goes on to ask if I would type her. Would I ever type you guys? Is that even what this channel is about? Is that even what I would want my platform to be connected to? The answer for me right now is no. But I'm going to tell you why, of course. So stay tuned. I found some tactful way to tell this sweet, wonderful, viewer that this isn't something that I'm going to do. I explained it a little bit to her in the email response that I gave her, but I want to go in depth on why I'm not going to type my subscribers, um, which might sound a bit um, hypocritical considering that I analyze people's style and fashion and I look at pictures of celebrities or whatever to try and like guess their body type in combination with their clothes and their um, style choices and everything. I personally just feel like it's just, it's different for me to like make guesses and have a conversation about a celebrity's style choices and body type. But if it comes down to me telling you this is what you are, I'm really hesitant to do that. And I've done it before in the past, but usually like it's just for fun, it's just to have a conversation, not to help you like solidify who you are. Like I don't think that I can actually do that. I'm not actually qualified to do that. And um, this is no diss to myself. Like I think I have a pretty solid perception of the body types at this point. But I'm always growing and learning new things that help me understand why it's not my place to tell you what kibbe body type you are. Discovering your kibbe body type is very personal. I'm realizing it's a journey. It's really not helpful for someone who has never interacted with you, doesn't know you, doesn't know your past or if you have certain insecurities or whatever to come in and say you are a flamboyant natural. I've learned a lot. I started um, reading a lot of the things that Kibby has written recently in his Facebook group and really settled into what he's spoken about, about starting from a place of self-love, starting from a space that is like, yeah, I see my body and I accept it for what it is. Before even bothering with trying to put a label on your bone structure or your essence, it takes time to get to know yourself and a huge part of Kibbe's system involves getting to know yourself and figuring out what you want to bring out, what you love about yourself. And that's a really hard journey to go on, but it's like you, you have to start there, it seems like. It seems like Kibbe would want you to start there and it's his system. Anything that I create or say is just me interpreting things, you know, trying to make sense of my own body. I'm just doing it in a public 
facing manner. But definitely go check out Kimmy's Facebook group. I think that you'll learn a lot about his heart for the system that he's created and it'll help you kind of filter through some of the interpretations that you see online and even on my own channel. The second reason why I'm not going to type you is because photos and videos distort the way you actually look. I don't know how many times I've met someone in person that I had only seen online and been like, you look the same, but you don't look the same. Like you're a three dimensional living being with an essence and an aura and energy that it's like, you don't pick that up necessarily very clearly online. A lot of times online you present yourself in a way like you know your angles, you have maybe a filter on. So if you were to just send me an email with pictures and videos of yourself or mirror selfies, Mirror selfies really distort your image as well. I think it's beautiful art to create self-portraits and things like that, but sometimes they're not accurate. For me to sit there and look at photos of you without knowing you, again, without experiencing you fully as your whole self in, in front of me, like, I'm not gonna be able to tell you your body type from that. I encourage you to um, consider that, you know, when if and when you send your images to someone who claims to be an expert of body consulting and all that sort of stuff, just be wary about what they say to you. It might be a good starting point or they're probably just trying to get your money. <laughs> be a little cautious about that and the people who deem themselves experts online when maybe they're not. Which moves on to the next thing kind of seamlessly. I'm not an expert. I'm learning about this system just like you guys are. And like I said earlier, I'm just doing it in a very public facing way. So I'm going to say things that I'm processing and that I'm working through. I'm going to notice things because of the way that I study and because of the way that my brain works. That might be different from the way that you notice things. And so I, I didn't make this channel because I'm some kibby expert or style expert. I'm just having fun. I'm talking about something I find interesting and hopefully, you know, sharing things with a new perspective. That's what I love about YouTube in this space is that I can talk about what I think and I get to hear about what you think and kind of allow the space for us to grow and discover together in a topic that we all find mutually interesting. Like, I just think that's so life-giving. I am just learning about this sort of stuff. And it's helpful for me to learn by verbally processing what I think. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I'm just trying to explore the lens of style, personal style, through the system that Kibby has created, inspired by his system, noticing the yin and the yang, finding the extremes and things, like all that sort of stuff. And I have landed on flamboyant gamine for myself after a long time of sitting with it and a long time of experimenting with what I'm drawn to, what I find beautiful, what style I think is interesting over and over time and time again. It takes time to sort out how you perceive yourself and you're allowed to grow and change within that. Just to kind of use this topic to funnel into my last point about why this isn't going to be a thing that I do is because truly, truly, you know yourself best. You know yourself better than I know you because your body and your spirit are going to teach you about what you're drawn to and what sits right on you. Have you ever put on an outfit and it technically was right for your body, but you felt like, uh, like I don't feel like me in this? And then you try on something else and you're just like, yes, like, this is it. This is the outfit. This is what I've been looking for. Like your, your body has a reaction to the clothes that you put on. And then there's some, there's some of that that is purely your conditioning. Any conditioning about like the purpose of your clothing or the purpose of your body. For example, like if you grew up in a religious background that really heavily policed what you were allowed to wear and what you were allowed to 
not wear, <laughs> like that can create some dissonance and a, a lack of self-trust when it comes to picking out clothes. Like you might feel like you really need somebody to just tell you what to wear. Style is not your thing or whatever. There's a lot of that that I personally have dealt with. So my advice to somebody who's sitting with this and really feels like they need someone else to tell them what their body type is, like, or what their essence is. Like, this is one of those spaces where I would tell you, like, you know yourself. And it takes practice to trust yourself. I would encourage you when it comes to style, like, you don't have to really look outside of yourself for what you like. This is scary if you've never done this. Take it from me. This is what I'm literally going through as I'm making this channel on YouTube. Like, this is what I'm walking through in life right now, is releasing the need for me to look outside of myself to know who I am. <sighs> I just had to regain some composure. So what I encourage you to do, if you're trying to figure out what style choices to make, you've already seen enough. You have already been told enough. I encourage you to sit with yourself quietly, maybe light a candle, maybe diffuse some essential oils, do something that feels grounding to you, sit with your plants, sit outside, something that just helps you recenter. And imagine the person that you want to be. And chances are, there are little seedlings already in your life that are getting you to that place. And if it has to do with your style, like, oh, I just wanna look professional, or oh, I just wanna look more feminine, or I just want to fill in the blank. Sit and discover within yourself, not with your Pinterest board up, not with Instagram buzzing in the background. Take the time to discover for yourself where those messages are coming from that say who you are isn't enough. The things that you like aren't the right things to like or the cool things to like. Sit with those voices and figure out, is that me or is that the outside voice that I keep looking toward to discover who I am. When you can sort through that, I think that you start to discover what style is yours. But yeah, take stock, take inventory of what you like. Make a list, write down the colors that you like, the textures that you like, write down the pieces of clothing that you always gravitate toward, and remember how they make you feel when you put them on. This sweatshirt that I'm wearing right now, it is old and busted, but I love it. It was my aunt's. She gave it to me as a gift because she's like, it's too old. I don't want it anymore. And I took it from her and I literally wear it all the time. It's just, it's really, it's oversized. It's comfortable. It's red. I love red. It's muted. And then you start to realize like, oh yeah, there's a theme in the things that I like to wear. So those are all the reasons why I'm not going to tell you your body type. I love you so much. I appreciate this question that was sent in by one of you guys. I really do think that you guys have the power to know yourselves and to see yourselves clearly with practice and by unlearning that idea that you have to look to somebody else to tell you who you are. You don't. It's scary to live in a space outside of that, especially if it's all you've known, but I kid you not, <laughs> the amount of freedom that you will experience when you realize that your own intuition is good for you. I don't know who needs to hear that today. You have good judgment. You know what is good for you. With that in mind, I'm gonna end this video. Thank you so much for sending in your questions. I'll have another one for you next Thursday. And if you have a question that you want me to go in depth on, send it to askfranny at gmail.com. I will see you on Sunday with another video. I love you guys so, so much. Um, spend some time with yourself. Take care. I'll see you in the next one if you're subscribed. So go ahead and do that. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.